Good morning, we have some breaking news for you from the Daily Micro. Here's Earl to explain further. Yes, Tom, I'm here at the Microbiology Logs with Dr. Bill himself. Now he's going to share with us his new discovery. Lo and behold, Earl, I have discovered the solution to killing viruses and bacteria. In one single wipe, it can kill up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It can also kill viruses. It's relatively safe to use in the home and it's bleach free, so use it to clean your bathroom floors, your kitchen countertops, and your phone's computers. That sounds incredible. How does it actually work, Dr. Bill? Well, the active ingredients are alkyl dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride and alkyl dimethyl ethyl benzyl ammonium chloride. It works by inactivation of energy producing enzymes, denaturation of essential cell proteins, and lastly, disruption of cell membrane. Back to you, Earl. That's really interesting, Dr. Bill. Oh, could you demonstrate for us how to use it? Sure thing. So we've moved over to the countertop here, and Dr. Bill's gonna demonstrate for us how to properly use these wipes. Well, Earl, you're gonna have to start by wiping the table. To sanitize, you're gonna have to leave the area excessively wet for up to 30 seconds. That will kill 99.9% .9 of the organisms living there. To get a really, really, really good clean, you're gonna have to leave it visibly wet for at least four minutes. I notice you're uh, wearing goggles and gloves, Dr. Bill. Are there risks with using this wipe? Yes, Earl. With prolonged exposure to these chemicals, you are going to have to wear goggles and gloves. With this wipe, we can clean the world. However, it should not be used as a diaper wipe on skin or for personal cleansing. Okay, let's take it back to you, Tom. Uh, what do you make of all of this? Well, Earl, according to the CDC, evidence exists to support these claims. However, the average user, like myself, is not going to leave the surface wet for 30 seconds, and certainly not for 4 minutes. And it's only killing the bacteria they have tested against, not all microbes that exist. That's all from the Daily Microbe. We will now resume to regular programming.